welcome back to the channel. What's up, family? What's up, my TBH family? I need you to hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not, because we would like for you to be a part of the TBH family. It means a lot to us. And liking the video, because it tells YouTube you like the content that I am putting out. And if you don't like it, that's fine. If you want to hit the dislike, it is fine. It is fine. And don't forget to share it out if you can. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're seeing in your area and how you are stocking up to make sure your family has what they need. So I drove to Lenore, North Carolina. It's not too far. It's maybe 20, 25 minute drive. So I came here because I'm going into the Dollar Tree. I have not been in this Dollar Tree in over two years maybe maybe a little longer i'm gonna go in see what it looks like today is monday so we are going to have a blessed week right no matter what comes up we are going to know that we are god's child and we can get through anything because he already died on the cross for us what are you prepping how are you preserving if you're preserving your food and how are you making your meals last longer? Because what's going on is there is going to be a lot of rationing. You're going to see a lot of people doing videos on rationing. I did it last month about no cart, no food, and having to ration food. But we have learned lately that uh, the mayor in D.C. wants people to ration what they already have they don't want you to go out and get more items you know where they do that at they don't want you to go out and get more things they want and if you do they want you to leave as much as you can on the shelves for those people who are going to be last minute shoppers i don't know about you i'm going to continue to prep for my family I'm not going to allow anyone to tell me that I should not be stocking up food for just in case, for emergencies, not just this panorama that's going on, but severe weather that we are having. So let's go into the store. I don't want to make this intro extremely long. Y'all, it's still snow on the ground. I'll show you when I get out of the vehicle. So let's get into the video so you see it's snow they have piled up right here um but <laughs> there's still a lot of snow that has not melted here y'all forgot my mask so they're starting to put seeds out as you can see i got some nice little seeds out i'm about to grab me some of these what do they have? Cilantro, Swiss chard, and they're four for a dollar. So you can grow on a budget. I have a bunch of these already. I don't. I need some more time. your pollinators over here your zinnias your marigolds marigolds are good in your garden keep the pests away so I'm going to get two marigolds so I have four packs of seeds for one dollar so they have these desk lamps right here for one dollar and twenty-five cents. They have the solar power steak lights. These are also good to put in your preps because you can put these outside, bring them back in when your power is out, and use these in your house to light your house. So they don't have a lot of Valentine's stuff out, but they do have some. 
They even got some movies in here I haven't seen. Oh my gosh. I used to love this movie. They have some CDs in here. They do have some candy in here though for a Valentine's Day. the sign these everything in here so far is a dollar 25 they have some of these as well I still have some of those so I'm gonna recycle mine I got some gloves up there some more snippers which I need some more pruning shears so I'll get one. So I'm going to grab two of these bubble wraps. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to grab one of these tapes. So this is neat. Something you can add to your stockpile for the kids for yourself. Ages eight and up. Look at the little Monopoly game. Well, yeah, two to four players. Isn't that neat? They even have a battleship. And those are 125. So I'm also going to grab some of these spoons. Also, when starting your prepper pantry, don't forget your soaps, shampoos, deodorants, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, your medications. Get all of those items because those things are running out on the shelves, as you can see. And when you can find it cheap, go ahead and get it if you can. And also, your first aid kit, go ahead and start building that. Keeping that separate so you'll know where it is when you need it. Also stocking up on your flashlights. Make sure you have your batteries for your flashlights. Candles as well. This store did not have a lot. If you have pets, please prep for them as well. Getting their foods, their treats, their toys, their bowls, whatever you can find. So last year I took this kitty litter pan from the Dollar Tree. Of course, it was a dollar then. It's a dollar twenty-five now. But you could take this pan, drill holes in the bottom of it, so it'll be like that at the bottom. And you'll have drainage. Put your seeds in here and start your seeds in trays like this right here too, as well as cups. You could do it in cups as well. So I've never seen these items in here before, but these are collapsible bowls for pets. But you can also use these for yourself, for your kids, if you wanna use it for your kids. And it's reusable, it's sturdy. Always check the refrigerated section. It may be things in the Dollar Tree that you can find cheaper than you can at a regular grocery store. These are great to add to your supplies as well. You got protein, you got the cashews with your nuts and berries. You even have, looks like freeze dried fruit or dehydrated. No, nope, freeze dried. to get some of these batteries because I'm sure I'm running low. I haven't checked my stockpile, but I want to go ahead and get them. These were all the canned vegetables and fruits that they had on the shelf. However, they did have a stocker in there and he was stocking canned goods. Pastas are actually a cheap 
way to stockpile food fast however you can find some pastas in the grocery store cheaper than in this dollar tree and you can also start your seeds in these styrofoam cups you know make sure you have the holes in them i also use the red cups up there any saran wrap. Okay, you guys, I made it out of the store. As you can see, everything in there was like $1.25. It went up 25 cents, but y'all, that's still a deal. You can still go into the Dollar Tree and get items to stockpile for your preps. So let me show you what I got and why. So I got this windshield wiper fluid. I bought that for my husband because he said he was out in his truck. I don't use that. I use the um, the Rain-X one. <laughs> yeah, I'm being cheap and buying him this, but hey. So I got this Sunbeam lamp here. I don't know how bright it will be. But I think it's a pretty good deal. This is what it looks like. It's flexible, has an on and off switch. Um, I'm definitely going to see if this works with my Opez solar power station. Also, it says no bulb to replace. So that's a plus. Um, I bought this for my youngest child. Has been complaining about back problems and shoulder and neck pain. And mainly, I believe that's from... You know how we all look down at our phones, computers, laptops, those things. Y'all, we got to start working those muscles and stretching and trying not to look down as much because that will cause a hump in the back of your neck, right at the base of your neck where it meets your um, back, your neck and your back meet. So I told you I got these spoons because my mother-in-law, what she does is when she's planting her seeds or whatever, she just writes on the back what it is and stick it in the ground it works for her hey it's gonna work for me i got some fabuloso then of course i got this bubble wrap right here because like i said i'm gonna try to ship um something a cake to my son and then over here well let's go down here i got a night light i have one of these outside of my laundry room but i'm gonna put one of these in the main living room it is very bright this is very bright and it does turn off when the when the light lights are on i can't talk today <laughs> when the lights are on so you don't have to worry about that i got some pruning shears because i'm pretty sure i have lost mine when we moved here and then i bought this baby bottle cleaner this brush i bought that because i need to clean my water bottle and it's little pieces little areas in the water bottle i can't get to then of course I got the batteries like I told you. I need these for my smoke detector and my carbon monoxide um, detectors. Then double A's, triple A's. I have the two different shipping um, tapes for when I send that package out to my son. I bought these right here. I always buy these right here because I need to clean my oven and some other things. And these work really great. They have that scouring pad on the back side of it. And it's $1.25. Then I got these because I'm I'm hungry and I need something to snack on, okay? Don't judge me. And then last but not least, I have my seeds over here, my marigolds, my thyme, and my Swiss chard. So y'all, get your seeds as soon as your Dollar Tree puts them out because I promise you they will go fast. They always do and you can just start growing right now in cups or whatever in your house put them in the windowsill you don't have to water them every day um yeah so this is my little haul i'm about to head over to another store for another video so i hope you enjoyed this video keep prepping keep getting the items that you need for your family um try to find a bargain when you can and i'll see y'all in the next video thank y'all so much for supporting the channel and I appreciate every like that I do get. 
and every like i'll get in the future and then every subscriber i have now i really appreciate you you are what i consider my youtube family so y'all take care god bless i love you but god truly loves you more he created only one you so be the best you that you can be and when you are you can go and spread god's love with distance if you have to peace love and light thank you so much for being here on tommy bites homestead prepping so i forgot to show you the receipt 27 dollars and 70 cents